everybody. Welcome to the Wild Duck Way. I'm Jessica and today's video is going to be about car schooling. In case you don't know, we are getting ready to take another cross country road trip. It will be at least 10 states and if everything goes according to plan, 10 national parks, which means we're going to be spending a lot of time in the car. So I need to have a lot of car school activities. Now we will be taking Emily's tablet, which means she'll have access to internet, apps, YouTube, audiobooks, all of the things. But I like to also keep as many non screen related activities on hand as possible so that we can kind of break some of that time up. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today are all of our non screen related car school activities for our upcoming cross country road trip. So in the car organizer that is next to Emily in the car, this is everything I will be keeping in it. I got a new travel Mad Libs. We have a travel far and Mad Libs. So one of my favorite ways to sneak in some parts of speech. And then we take this on all of our national park trips. This is the national park scavenger hunt. It's just a fun way to spot some things and keep your eyes open for different things that are in the national parks. So it tells you a little bit about it and then different things that you should be on the lookout for. I picked up a new Brain Games National Parks puzzle. This is word searches and there's one for each national park. And then also a sticker by number America. So these are perforated and so are the sticker pages so I can pull them out for her. And then I have the extreme dot to dot national parks. She did do a few of these last year on our national park road trip, but there are still quite a few left. And then I'm adding the extreme dot to dot around the USA as well, because we'll be hitting so many different states and these keep her busy for a long time. And in her clipboard, like I said, her and I both have one of these. I put all of her pages for traveling the states. And then in mine, I have the teacher's pages. So her map, the travels. And then for each state that we'll be going through, I have her coloring page, her flag profile, her state profile, and the nature profile. And then same thing for traveling the parks. I have the national park traveling expense and then her map the route, park and numbers, travel journal, and animal profile for each park. I also really like to make sure that we have some fun, hands-on engaging things for her as well. So some of my favorite are single player travel games um, like the IQ games, I am packing the stars version this time. We have quite a few different ones of these. So I like to keep these kind of in and out of the car. They come with multiple different levels of challenge. And then the same thing with the canoodle. We have different of these two, the extreme, um, the 3d tons of different ones. And just like the others, it comes with loads of different levels and it's all contained in this container. So great little travel game. Uh, the Think Fun has a couple of different magnetic games we like to keep in there. The Rush Hour is a new favorite. We have the Rush Hour World Tour, Solitaire Chess. We have a, she has a Minecraft version. I love them because there's normally about 40 different challenges, but all of the pieces are magnetic. So you don't have to worry about losing them in the vehicle. So this one gives you, here's a couple different challenges and you would set it up and try to solve it. And then same thing with the solitaire chess. It's all magnetic. So there are your pieces. And then I keep the instructions in here because sometimes she needs to be reminded about chess. But, and then here's all the different kind of puzzles that you can set up to play. I also like to keep hands on things like these Rubik's cubes. She has the two by two training one and the traditional three by three. 
since we are going on a road trip across America, I have her states and capital wrap up. Um, sometimes I will trade this out with like math wrap ups. She also has Spanish wrap ups. These are just a great hands on fun way for her to learn. And then we always keep loads of trivia in the car. She likes to question us from the back seat and try to stump Kevin and I. So when we go on road trips, we always throw in our brain quest America set. And then we are also throwing in our Road Trip America. This is from Word Teasers. These are just simple question cards. Let me get that to focus for you. And then it has kind of the answer with an explanation on the back. And then I decided to also throw in the American Trivia this time. It's also by Word Teasers. Same thing, it has that question on the front. And then the answer with kind of an extra little factoid on the back. Conversation starters are always fun when you're in the car. You have nowhere else to go. So this is the family card game, Would You Rather? It has um, a lot of different topics. Let me see if I can get one out of here. I'm gonna take this piece out to make it easier for her. So one of those topics is would you rather in the wild? So would you rather sleep in a leaky tent in a rainstorm or on the floor of a cave? And these are always fun because they have like really great varying, let me just take that out now, um, things for us to discuss. So this one is would you rather mad scientist? Would you rather have eyes that can turn into telescopes or microscopes? Which of course then sometimes we end up down a rabbit trail of comparing the two and looking them up online. Um, this one is would you rather tech time? So would you rather own a smart pen that takes notes for you or a smart refrigerator that restocks itself with your favorite food? Um, I'll take the refrigerator please. Grocery shopping is one of my least favorite things to do. Um, and then scavenger hunt road trip. We always take this on a road trip. I like to have games that keep us off of our screens um, and kind of looking out of the window participating. So these are just different things that you're looking for. And then it has a little pencil and a score pad so we can keep score. And then I decided to add some more games because we've done the scavenger hunt before. So I'm not sure how many times we'll do that. So I picked up this road trip games just to kind of give us some things to play. Yes, we probably could have found some of these on Pinterest, but I just thought it was fun um, to pull a card out. So this says cactus, a guessing game for all ages. Object of the game, guess what your friend's trying to say by filling in the blank, then come up with your own hard to guess sentence. This is all about fun in the innuendos. Um, let's see. This one is Punch Buggy. Annoying, maybe entertaining, definitely. Deliver as many soft punches as you can. So some of these are just like the old traditional games that we all know, but I just don't ever remember them when I'm in the car. So I thought this was a fun way to be like, hey, why don't you grab a game for us to play? So what would you choose? It's time for the tough choices. If you had to pick between pizza and pasta, which would you choose? Think carefully because whatever you don't pick will be gone forever. So just kind of like fun ways to keep us entertained in the car and having fun as a family.